Breathing. Breathing is central to life as it allows the human body to obtain the energy it needs to sustain itself and its activities. But how does it work? Breathing consists of inhale and exhale. Both depends on pressure gradients between the lungs and atmosphere as well as the muscle in the thoracic cavity, which is your diaphragm. The mechanics of breathing follow voice law. It states that as the volume decreases, the pressure increases. This model is showing us on how our lungs work. As you can see here, this straw is represents our trachea, and as it moves down, you can see a balloon, you can see two balloons. It represents our lungs, and at the bottom here, it represents as our diaphragm. When you inhale or breathe in, the diaphragm contracts and moves downward. As you can see here, the balloon that represents our lungs is expand. This expansion of lungs decreases alveolar pressure inside that lungs so that air moves along the pressure gradient from the atmosphere or outside into the lungs. But what happens when you exhale or breathe out? Now, when you exhale or breathe out, the diaphragm at the bottom here will move upward and relaxes. As you can see here, this balloon that represents our lung is now contract. Relaxation of the diaphragm at the bottom here results in elastic recoil of the chest wall and lungs. This increases intrapleural pressure, which decreases lung volume. As you can see now, when you exhale, your lungs is contract, or in other words, your lung volume is decreases. Now, what happens to, in the alveolar? In the alveolar in the lungs, the pressure increases. We know that the mechanics of breathing follows Boyce's law. When the lung volume decreases, the pressure inside alveolar increases. So that's why air moves from the lungs to the atmosphere. That's why you can breathe out.